I'm gonna play a game, or make a parody, or maybe just a new video. It's Rivero. Let's play! What's going on guys? Rivero here. Welcome to a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in Minecraft map. Created by me. So this is hopefully going to be a developer's commentary of sorts, I guess. I'm just going to be explaining things like how the map was built, things that people have trouble with, and other stuff like maybe bugs. Stuff like that, basically. To start off, we're in this little intro area. This used to just be a normal, plain, boring box, but now it is a nice title screen. Over here we have the donators button. Shows all the people that donated during the map's release, or during the map's creation, I should say. And over here we have a settings area which has a few things. We can turn skip cutscenes on or off, and remove crouch navy on or off. These do a few things, we'll explain those when they come up. Um, basically this just skips through cutscenes quickly. This one we'll explain in a second. Over here we have the rule book. So we want to save and quit after opening this game once, I've already done so. This is single player only, you cannot play multiplayer yet. That is an attempt to be made currently, but it's very slow going so don't expect it to finish anytime soon if at all. It'll be very fortunate if it does. And the render distance, which is the main thing that can break the game, so if you do not have it at 11 or more, it's gonna break the game. There's only one part in specific that this breaks, so we'll try to point it out when it happens, and after that, that's the only game-breaking thing. There are still things that will mess up, like enemies won't spawn, but you can still progress through the game at least. Music should be on, all kinds of other sounds and video settings, and after that, you are good. Flipping to the next page makes this button appear, and let's begin. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kakiri, live here with me. I can't do that. Each Kakiri has his or her yes, own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Cutscene. What does it mean? It's a dream sequence. <gasps> he seems evil. What do you guys think? Oh, there's an owl. Navi! Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kakiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now! Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the world, forest! The forest, the day of the world, the forest, depends upon me. Yes. We're in a cutscene here. If we... Ah! Dang it, I missed it. You can spectate as one of the NPCs here, if you're fast enough. Eh. Nope, I failed. Well, you can do it and nothing really happens. You just kind of see the everything from their perspective until this cutscene ends. And yeah, we have begun in Kokiri Forest. Ah! Hello, Rivero. Wake up. The Great Taker Tree wants to talk to you. Rivero, get up. Get up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Taker Tree <laughs> asks me to be your partner from now on. The Great Taker Tree up. has summoned you, so let's get going right Wake now. Up. Wake up. Wake up. Ha ha! Yahoo! Hi, Rivero. Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, Rivero. Wow, that's great news. Wow, I'm so happy for you. Wow, now you're a true Kakiri, Rivero. Wow, is that right? <laughs> the Great Deku Tree has summoned you. It's quite an honor to, get to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. So over here we have a Shiku Stone. This takes us back to the settings area. Also, I guess I forgot to mention, this returns any items that have been destroyed. Kind of self-explanatory. And now we'll go over the Crouch Navi. So if you crouch, Navi will appear. And just to keep her out of the way, if you keep crouching, she'll keep rotating over there to keep away from your screen. That way, like, you can throw a boomerang and not get in the way. Um, but if you crouch and then don't move and uncrouch, then you can right-click and talk to her. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. 
So yeah, this was the very first place I created, which was technically on the Xbox world. This... I started with the Link's house, and gave up the first time, and didn't work on it for like a month. And then I tried again, and then I actually managed to make it through like Kukiri Forest. But once I got to Hyrule Field, I gave up again, because that was a huge task, and I had not had any experience with stuff like that. Fortunately, I moved everything over to the computer world eventually, and then now we're here. <laughs> After a long, long bit of time. We can break signs, which is a really cool feature. That one has a blue rupee. And yeah, we're going to go talk to this guy over here, see if we can make our way to the Great Duke Tree. Which we won't, but we'll find out what he has to say. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? Yeah, I got a fairy. The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Meadow? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You're not even fully equipped yet. How about... How do you think you're going to help the Great Duke Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh! So, we will do just that. Another thing is that text in this game is very important. If you read this, it explains how you can convert your rupees. People miss this a lot, unfortunately. Uh, we need 40 rupees for a shield, so I think we need a little bit more to collect. We'll just go over here. Oh, we can actually pick up rocks, by the way, and crouch to throw them. Cool little feature. And in Mido's house, we're just going to steal his life savings, because we need it more. Throw another rock. <laughs> it's kind of funny how many people pick one of these up unintentionally, and they're like, why am I so slow? And they realize they have a rock on their head. No one thinks to look up. Alright, we can now convert all our rupees and get a Deku Shield. We are now ready to fight, or to meet the Deku Tree. <laughs> eh, what's that? You have a Deku Shield? And what's that? I mean, I had the sword before. Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with that, a wimp's still a wimp, huh? I guess. I, the Great Miku Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you be get to be the favorite of Sari and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. Over here is our first enemy, the Withered Deku Baba. We get Deku Sticks from killing them. And we are at the Great Deku Tree. O oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Rivero, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, the vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast sent it, felt it, <laughs> sensed it, felt it. Rivero, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed, and I need thee to break the curse with thy wisdom and courage. I don't know about the wisdom, but I'll, I'll be courageous, I guess. Enter, brave uh, Rivero, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Rivero. Here we go, into the first dungeon. Here we have a new enemy, the Deku Baba. That one kind of had trouble getting out. Here, let's try this one. There we go. They lunge down and attack. And if we're nearby, or close enough, well, we have the shield on, so <laughs> it couldn't hurt us. Haha! -ha. Over here we have some regenerating bushes. These come back after a little bit. Boom! And yeah. Next up, there are... Nothing in this game is going to be absolutely perfect. I mean, most is pretty darn accurate, but things like the dungeon map are not in this game. There's too much that would go into it, and it would just be a very confusing map overall if I were to include it. So, it is not here. There is a compass, however, so we'll be getting into that soon. We jump across this platform, it falls down. Well, it disappears, but it's supposed to fall down. And we get the fairy slingshot. We cannot equip this without... Or, we cannot equip this with the shield in the offhand, so we have to unequip that. And over here we just have a quick heart. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the jump cutscenes. I've had a few people kind of question about it. Most people, I think prefer it and like it because it allows you to go at your own pace but some people think it's a little jarring to be jumping all the time <laughs> which I can understand but what are you gonna do you can't really push just a random button in Minecraft to let things continue and making the text clickable would be very irritating personally for me I attempted it here's another little place that a lot of people seem to get stuck at and if they were to simply <laughs> read the tutorial on you got a deco stick it would teach you about the lighting torches and everything so yeah 
you right click without with the Deku Stick, it'll put it out and return your Deku Stick, so that's a little nice feature. And over here we have the compass. If we right click it, we know that there are two chests remaining, so that's cool. Ah! Over here we have a new enemy. Well, we've passed by a few enemies, like that's just a Skulltula. But here is a Golden Skulltula. These are pretty important. We are going to be attempting to 100% play through the game, so hopefully we can find most of the Skulltulas on our first run through of everything. And we gotta wait for these guys to turn around to attack, and jump down here to remove the web. Got another gold Skulltula here. And let's talk about the version of this map. So there is... the first release, like official release of this map, was 1.0.0, and currently that and a few other versions after that are pretty buggy. The most recent version that currently, as I'm recording this, is version 1.0.3. It has the least amount of bugs, still a few, but not nearly as much as the first few. Also this guy, forgive me master, I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 231. 23 is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? Yes, I do. I think you are a traitor. You're kind of on the other side, so, other team. Um, also, as of recording this, the version 1.0.0 I don't even think can be downloaded because Mediafire gave it a copyright thing. Which, you'd think of all things Nintendo would have the cease and desist or whatever, which people are like so afraid of happening. At this point, it's like I've already distributed the map so people can do it themselves if they want. Um, but yeah, like I'm pretty sure because of the name of it, I didn't like specify that it's Minecraft, and I'm pretty sure that they thought I was just distributing the original Ocarina of Time game. <laughs> so they based it solely off the title and gave me a copyright. Which is pretty unfortunate. Because the only thing that they could actually get me for on this is the... Well anyways, here's a new enemy, the Goma Larva. You can either shoot these with the slingshot and stuff. But anyways, the only reason they could actually follow Cease and Desist is because of the likeness of the game, basically just the whole story, or because I used the title in it. But even stuff like music, it's note blocks. You can't copyright that. It's a parody, basically. Um, so yeah. I don't want to hear any comments about Cease and Desist anymore. There's so many. It's like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> There's a chance. Okay, am I going to stop? No. <laughs> I've spent seven years on this. I'm going to keep going. Over here we have our little brothers over here. So two, three, one. And last one. And not the shield. Die. There we go. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Goma, Queen Goma to you. You don't have to, but I guess why not? In order to administer the coup de grace, I think that's how you say it. Coup de grace. To Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. People struggle with this boss a lot for more ways than one. Goma. First off, people try to attack it, most likely. Doesn't work, because you got a stunner. Throw the sleek shot, and it'll stun her. And then the second thing that people struggle with is people spam a lot. If you see this little indicator right here, you're not doing much damage if you don't let your sword charge up. So, when you're spamming, you're only doing half a heart, like every hit. Additionally, if you fall while attacking, doing the crit damage, you will do double damage. So it's very important that you do these things, otherwise you will not be able to two-cycle her, essentially. And yeah, we got a heart container, and we are done with this dungeon. Well done, Rivero. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew thou would be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have more to tell thee. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses vile, his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is that in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses depended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Then, the goddess of power, <laughs> Neru, the goddess of wisdom, and Pharaoh, the goddess of courage, I do not have wisdom. Then, with her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Neru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of, the spirit of law to the world. <laughs> Feror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. 
Funny how I messed up on Nerus to show that I really do not have wisdom. The three goddesses, their labors complete, departed for the heavens, and their golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. And resting the place of the triangles have become the sacred realm. Hello. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to eat, enter to eat the sacred realm of legend. Those triangles do look pretty tasty. That man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. I keep reading this as slapped. He slapped my power. <laughs> because of the curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Rivero, go now to Hyrule Castle. There that will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take the stone with thee. Ooh, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast this curse upon me. The, you got the Kokiri Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Rivero. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help Rivero to carry out my will. I entreat thee, Navi. Goodbye. Let's go to the castle, Hyrule Castle, Rivero. Goodbye, great Deku Tree. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in Minecraft, we will be going to the Hyrule Castle. See you guys then.